So Manu, what Android phone do you use? Note CE. What Android version you are on? Android 11. Well, surprise, Android 13 is here. <laughs> and Manu, what are you wondering? Android 12 अभी तो आया है. I'm still on Android 11. Correct. So when will companies like Xiaomi, Realme, OnePlus, Samsung will give you Android 13? And the entire state of Android. Well, we'll talk about it in just a moment. And if you love things we talk about, well, subscribe to TechWiser to stay wiser and hit the bell icon as well. Let's go. <laughs> so we have Android 13 installed on the Pixel 6, and now you would ask. Pratik, how did you get Android 13? How can I get Android 13? Well, the process to install Android 13 is very easy. You just have to install ADB, connect your phone to the laptop, open Android Flash Tool web app, and in 10-15 minutes follow the instruction and it's done. Now, Android 13 is only available for Pixel devices, so you have to have a Pixel device and only starting from Pixel 4a. Now a lot of you have Pixel 4a. You can try Android 13, but this is not a stable version, and do it at your own risk. So let's check the top seven features in Android 13 that Android fans or you will love. Now here we also have Android 12 on Pixel 3. So you see here, if I play music on Spotify or any other music app, and if I have to switch between Bluetooth devices, this is how you do it. Whereas now. If you see in Android 13 if I have to switch devices this is how it looks as well as I can increase and decrease the volume also when you tap on play pause music or even next song there is a small sparkle animation tadka that's new in android 13 another good feature is now you can enter the split screen quickly this really helps because most of the time i watch a youtube video and chat on whatsapp simultaneously now before you see here in android 12 i have opened youtube and when i open something like twitter now i have to go back and then enter a split screen mode but here on android 13 you can just tap on the youtube video and you can use this button to quickly enter split screen mode this is quicker and faster and it will work with all pip apps like netflix hotstar youtube premium official and unofficial so that's there now this is really cool like previously if you want to switch wallpapers in android 12 you will have to go to wallpapers and then switch the wallpaper but in android 13 your last five wallpapers will be present right here and in case you're wondering see here it also works with third party app like i have this blue wallpaper in the last five wallpapers Now apart from wallpaper another famous android 12 feature was themed icons so themed icon converts all the icons on your home screen to match your wallpaper and settings but the problem was it worked for all google apps only it didn't work for third party apps like telegram spotify and all of that now in android 13 it will force every app to themed icons now in this version since the apps aren't still available for android 13 so You won't see the themed icons as of now for third-party apps, but when public Android 13 arrives, you should see slowly all icons will support themed icons. Now the next feature is a little-known feature, guest mode. So guest mode existed before. What happens is whenever I have to give my phone to my niece or kids to watch Shark Do 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 or Chota Beam on Hotstar, I give her the phone in guest mode. But then I have to log in separately and install Hotstar. But here I can choose what apps will be available in guest mode. This is new in Android 13. So let me select Hotstar and Spotify. And now if you see when I switch to guest mode, I can see Hotstar and Spotify. So now I just have to log in in Hotstar and she can watch Chota Bhi. And now she won't accidentally open photos or some other app she is not supposed to open. you know kids these days and here in the notification bar you have some new notification toggle now like one handed mode color correction mode qr code scanner now qr code scanner is my favorite previously you would have to open google lens to scan qr code because not every smartphone camera app supports qr code scanning now as of now qr code scanner is not active and it's grayed out it will be available in the later versions of android 13 and then there are some less talked feature which you might or might not notice like here if you see if you click on the wifi icon now you have a pop up in android 12 there was a menu that came up from the bottom Next when you take a notification bar up and down both in Android 12 and Android 13 you see in Android 13 the notification icons are squeezed as you go up and down 
and it was simple in Android 12. Another major feature in Android 13 is photo picker. Now you can choose what photo access you can give to a third party app. It is almost similar to what it was on iOS and I'm really excited about this feature. And if you're someone who still uses three button navigation because you use third party launcher like Nova launcher and all of that, well, now you can disable long press to enable Google Assistant. Again, these are very little known features and most people might or might not notice it while using Android 13. Which brings me to the question, have you heard of Android 12 L? Well, Android 12 L is Android's next version to make Android better for foldable and larger devices. And all these volume media features in Android 13 is from Android 12 L. And Android 12 L hasn't dropped yet. So I have one word for Android 13, it's confusing. What is Google thinking? And we'll have to wait till October, July to see how Android 13 is different from Android 12 L. But a lot of manufacturers are still lagging on Android 12 and we have Android 13 on Pixel. So when will you get Android 13 is the much bigger question now. And as per Google, the stable Android 13 will come in around October, November when Pixel 7 releases to all the Pixel phones. And for other Android phone users, meanwhile, you'll have to wait longer, maybe till 2023 or 2024 or even further. Google should look into this and maybe set a deadline for manufacturers to provide the latest Android update. Or maybe the latest phones should come with Android 13 out of the box after a certain date. Meanwhile, I've shown you some Android 13 features. You can watch the video and share it with your friends to let them experience Android 13. On that note, this is Pradeep signing off. I'll see you pretty soon. Pew pew, pew pew pew.